Hi, welcome to another video. This one's how uh, demonstrating how to draw uh, lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines, boxes, box with round corners, filled boxes, and this particular circle is a filled circle. So you've got to imagine your LCD screen, or this particular one's 128 by 64 pixels down. That first diagonal line, I'm telling you, start. Uh, Nought across, so nought horizontal, nought x, uh, and nought y. Uh, then telling the end of the line to come down, 127 across and 64 down. That's that line. Then this one, this diagonal line, 128 across, nought down is the start position, uh, and then it's coming nought across and 64 down. Uh, there. GLCD uh, lines. Um, these are G GLCD ho uh, vertical lines, GLCD horizontal lines, GLCD circles, or G GLCD circle fill if you want a filled circle. Um, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's only take me five or ten minutes. The, um, the these are boxes with round circles. You just have to tell it what radius you want. Um, that's uh, this circle here. You just tell it what yeah radius from the middle to the outside edge and where you want it to start. So uh, I you know, found that obviously the centre of the graphic display and gone on from there. So although this is uh, the regular K is it a zero one eight O graphic display, hundred twenty eight by sixty four. I'm actually using the uh, Microelectronica's Easy Pick version seven board, but. You don't need the board, you can just get a display, you get a, a PIC micro, uh, wire up seven or eight pins, program it with a, a micro, well, I'm using Micro C Pro for PIC. Uh, that's about it. Well, let me show you the code, uh, in case you're not familiar with it. Line you up on the screen. Lock this camera off. I guess uh, before I forget, which I normally do forget, uh, if you're not sure about a particular function, press F1 and you'll get the, the help library. So at the top there, you'll probably see I've already typed in uh, GLCD and I've gone down, there's a menus for various GLCD functions. Uh, and you look on the right hand side, it's a GLCD line. This is a it's, it's confusing unless you actually start to program and start to practice. Try and zoom you a little bit more there. Um, so like this GLCD underscore line. Um, and you can see there, X start. So X coordinate of the line start. Uh, valid values 0 to 127. So although we've got a 128 pixel across screen, they always start with 0, so it's 0 to 127. And 0 to 63 as opposed to 1 to 64. So let like you see, x start, x coordinate start line, y coordinates uh, of the start line, uh, then end coordinates of x and y, and then the, the colour. If you've got a blank screen and you're turning the, the line on, then you just put a 1. If it's uh, the screen's been filled, uh, so you want uh, like an inverted line, you'd put two for inverted, uh, that sort of thing. So you just scroll down to help files, that's GLCD line, GLCD vertical line, GLCD horizontal line, GLCD rectangle, uh, rectangle round edges, round edges fill, uh, that sort of thing, GLCD box, GLCD circles, I'm using the GLCD a circle fill so look on the X and Y radius and color so because I held had a filled circle I'm starting in the uh, figured out where the middle of the display was I forget the actual code let's go and have a quick look hopefully you can see all that let me move your camera let's find the circle quickly well GLCD circle fill so I've got uh, I've come across the screen 63 
uh, that's left to right 63, 31 down. Uh, I've got the radius at 25, and I've got the field, uh, was it all like inverted because of the previous pattern, so number two. Uh, that's the part of the circle you saw. Uh, what else you got? Rectangle round edges fill. So you can see I've got the notes in green down here. Just remind me and show yourself. So GLCD, oh, let's go to an easier one without the round edges. So this one up there. Uh, GLCD underscore rectangle underscore round edges. So I'm start, I've come in three, down three, then the lines ending at 124 across and down 60. Uh, and I've got oh yeah, 15 uh, is the radius of the round edges. And I've got a one, which is just uh, a normal white line uh, because the screen hadn't been filled by anything else. So that's it, that simple line there. You'll get the boxes or rectangles or lines, vertical lines. If we come back up the top, so GLCD line, so that you remember their diagonal line. So I've come in naught, stayed at the top, naught, so naught across, naught down. Uh, I've drawn, uh, I want the end of the line, 127 across, and then 64 down. So that point has to be down the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, and one for the colour. Naught is white, one is black, two is inverted if you've got the screen on. Um, this is the GLCD uh, initialize, use a help screen, but you just copy that basically. Uh, I'm using the PIC 18F45K22, so these two bits configure two of the ports to digital, or namely A and B. Um, this is the setup to get your screen connected, but I've just copied that from one of the example programs. But use your help files and with Microelectronica you get the wiring diagram. So if you don't having if you haven't got the money to buy the Easy Pick version seven uh, board, um, just get the wiring diagram. Copy the configuration. You can see what ports are, are wired to what lot. Uh, reset, read write, or chip select one is wired to Tris B naught port naught of uh, port B. Uh, that sort of stuff, read, write, chip, select. Um, that's about it. You, uh, I can't fault Microelectronica. They give you the wiring, they give you help files. Some of it, it's a lot more difficult than you know, running like a, an LCD display. I don't know with my old like, Pick Basic Pro, it's a lot more difficult. But once you get once you get the hang of it, it's quite straightforward. I suppose if you've got examples. I want uh, I'm drawing these lines and rectangles at the top here I've got let me see I'm sure I've got to do somewhere yeah up, up here look so I've got this do and these open brackets so it's going to do all of this and I'll terminate that statement at the bottom with a while one so that while one gives me a loop keeps on going through round and round um, that's about it, it's that simple. Um, configure configurations up there, so there's the processor, microcontroller, I should say, running at 8 megs. Um, that's about it, you hit Control F9 and it um, compiles it. Because I've got the board, I just hit F11 via USB and it programs it using the micro prog system, which is on the board. No external program is needed. Um, that's about it. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much. I'll put you back on the display. So have a look at that while this video ends. So this has only taken me, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes to program this. I'm still learning myself, so don't ask me any technical questions, but right, that's it. I'm out of time. Thank you very much.